Hey everyone, Tony Dunst here with five tips on qualifying to the upcoming WPT Online World Championships on Party Poker. First, let's talk about ticket drops, which are reserved for the winners of certain daily tournaments on Party Poker. The great thing about ticket drops is they are essentially added money into the prize pool, so keep an eye out on the Featured tab for the WPT Seat Added moniker and make sure to capitalize on those tournaments when you see them. Second, I'm a big fan of Party Poker's Phase Satellite System. Not only is it highly accessible with buy-ins at the $2.20 and $22 levels, but the 30-seat guaranteed final that you phase your way into on those steps does not have any direct buy-in, so you're playing other players at your skill level. Third, just because Party Poker wants to broaden access to the World Online Championships doesn't mean there aren't more direct, higher buy-in paths to satellite your way into events. For example, there are daily 109 three-seat guaranteed into the $1,000.50 mini main, plus tons of satellites running through the series, with every Holm event awarding at least 280 seats through the satellite system. Fourth, let's talk a little about how strategy differs between satellites and normal tournaments. As you approach the bubble for a seat in a satellite, the strategy becomes more similar to a final table than the early stages of a tournament. With this idea of needing a better hand to call an all-in than go all-in yourself becoming magnified. And that becomes all the more important as you reach the exact bubble where, on some stack sizes, it's incorrect to call an all-in with any hand, including aces, if it means creating the possibility that you'd be knocked out. And lastly, study up on your push-fold strategy or at least keep some charts handy because most of the late stages of satellites are played pre-flop, with going all-in being the best way to maximize pressure on shorter stacked opponents. Of course, if you spot someone who is calling too many hands pre-flop in these bubble scenarios, you either need to wait for better hands to push on them with or just avoid them entirely and let them implode.